Asa liked his birthday party, uh, popcorn party favors. The red Spider Man one? That's okay, we can try to make it work. It's fine. How many do I need? Count for me how many do I need. training a high school English teacher but uh, a thing that I love very much is the food industry so I decided to open Capital Corn and Confections a gourmet popcorn shop located in Ewing it is Mercer County's only gourmet popcorn shop in the summertime as I was uh, vacillating about making the commitment to sign the lease in one location I was um, my you know, I was going back and forth and trying to think which was the best location. I see it seemed like I had kind of zeroed in on one uh, place to uh, open the business, and then it turns out that my older daughter um, had a blood clot that was discovered on the fourth of July, the evening of the fourth of July, and it was sitting at the base of her neck on her spine, and it rendered her paralyzed for about two days. So for about two weeks we were back and forth well we we pretty much took a residence in um uh st christopher's hospital for children in philadelphia and the blessing in that was that my mom and dad are you know right nearby so i was able to you know stay at the hospital but then kind of have you know them as a support system to take care of my younger daughter it required a whole different set of skills and a whole different um strength than i had known before but as I thought about getting this place together in terms of design and painting and doing all the kind of cool stuff that we see around here, I, um, every day I would come in and I would put on the scrubs that I used for pajamas when I stayed overnight in the hospital for the two weeks with Shelby because I knew that in order to get the business up and running, I would have to be what I called Shelby Strong. and therefore these big old scrubs are covered in paint and all kinds of acrylic and everything else that it took to uh you know to get this place um looking the way it looks my my mom and dad are just awesome my mom and dad came up and they actually measured the uh the spacing for the frames that i have on the wall you know they measured they helped me spray paint they um, you know, they're in Philadelphia, so they just said, you know, okay, they're retirees. They said, okay, we're going to come up and spend some time, you know, helping you get this thing together. You know, and we had a big friends and family day and cousins and, you know, other folks just came up and they just kind of, you know, wrapped around me. They're my village. And, you know, we always need our village, always, even when we think we don't. One of the things is while my mother is the very fancy, very high end chef, my dad is a master seasoner. And he puts together some things that in my adulthood I appreciate. But as a kid, we were like, what are these twigs and things on our salads and on our, you know, on our meat and, and our rice? But he was just kind of, you know, mixing together like these bay leaves and this rosemary and all these other really, really just phenomenal flavors. Then now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, boy, I need to get back down there and get him to, you know, to mix me up a batch of this or a batch of that. So that's it. I just... And I think that 
for myself, I have a very Mediterranean kind of palette. So I love the olive oils and the, the, the garlics and the, um, you know, the, the sea salts and the balsamics and things like that. So that really translates a lot into the popcorn as well. So they're all, they're like, there's a garlic basil flavor. There's a rosemary sea salt base uh, flavor. There's, um, just a bunch of other really, uh, like eye popping flavors that I know I can trace directly back to my, my dad and my mom and they're, they're cooking. Popcorn is fun. It is so, it's such an American treat, you know, and, uh, the way we, the way we season it brings in like other, you know, other flavors, other cultures, etc. But popcorn is, is just a fun, good, uh, snack, you know, and it's all the way you, the way you can make it is also like, um, maybe a lower end luxury item, you know? So if you want something that's decadent, you don't have to pay a ton of money. It's not like going out and buying caviar or something like that. You can sit on your sofa and have low end luxury and be happy. I wanted to take something that we see so huge in the Midwest and just bring it to the East Coast and have people get a chance to uh, to enjoy. Okay, that comes to five eighty eight. Thank can you, you so much. Can you give me another one for his sister? They're gonna fight if they come know. <laughs> Absolutely. Same. As well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. The store is open uh, Tuesday through Friday from noon until 7. And because I'm teaching at that time, I actually have an amazing staff who will open for me. So that means that, you know, after my a phone alarm comes to alert me to turn off the store alarm, I turn off the store alarm, they come in, they get things set up, they open the curtains, they start popping, they lay out our confections. Uh, they hang out our sign, although it's not hung out today, but they hang out our popcorn sign. And I always tell them, I, I used to try to make the menu for the week available to them, but now I just kind of let it you know, go a day at a time. So I let them know what it is that they're expected to make for the day. And uh, everyone has been trained, so they pretty much know what to make. And uh, we get five new flavors every day and they fill our staging cabinet, which is one of the few in New Jersey. They fill our red tops, we call it, so that people can come in and see the yummy stuff that's going on inside. Okay. What else did you want to try? Mr. Yarson, anything else you want to try? I'm good, Belly. Thank you for oh. talking to me. Uh, talking to you? Did you hear me interview? Yeah, because you always call me that. <laughs> Stop. It's okay. That would be perfect <laughs> for us. <laughs> All right, Kim, what do you have? Well, you know, your brother always likes um, cookies and cream. Yeah. Yes. I have had great support from from uh, some friends, uh, from you know, from some of my friends. Some have ordered popcorn, uh, like bags of popcorn, to go away to their kids in college because they wanted everyone on the kids uh, dormitory floor to have a bag of popcorn you know so that was really cool so down at the University of Pennsylvania and at uh, Northeastern University there are kids there who are enjoying popcorn that was purchased by a friend to send up there we have a lot of industry nearby so ETS like some people will come over you know and grab something and then take it back from lunch and uh, you know so it is actually a very um, it's a, a good location for that. River Horse Brewery is actually doing their 6K run next weekend. And they are doing, um, they're having a bunch of vendors. Like, you know, they're letting like Ewing vendors come out for free. And they have about 900 participants who are coming to run. So that's, uh, you know, that's, that's a good thing. They were um, really, really generous in just kind of connecting us with, uh, you know, their customer base. girls are watching me. I have two daughters, seven and 12, and I know that they're watching everything that I do. So 
uh, that's one of the reasons why I keep going, even through the lean times, and there are some very lean times when starting a small business, which is why I haven't given up my day job of teaching just yet. Grading outside of school is difficult um, for me. Grading papers outside of school is difficult for me just because, you know, I have my kids and their activities, you know, that they need to do. I've always actually said it would be a little unfair for me to teach and have kids at the same time. Well, <laughs> you know, that, that's what I'm doing, you know, but, um, you know, it, it's a bit of a, a bit of a, a challenge because you know I want my kid. My kids shouldn't have to not be in a sport or an activity just because I'm here. You know, so um, I have a really, really capable, reliable staff, and they're here. They just keep things running for me when I have to run to Princeton Girl Choir or we have a, a karate um, uh, audition for not audition, but like test for the next level. They are the ones who keep things running for me. Um, in my absence and um, but I really have a hard time like balancing some of those things I'm tired you know right now I'm losing hair you know <laughs> I'm, I'm stressed but I you know but I'm okay I am okay and just going to uh, you know keep being okay